Hello, hello. This is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman. Thank you so much for being here. Phone lines are still open at 559 559- 656-0317. You can also send your questions to questions at insurancehour.com. For immediate help, you can dial pound 250. Use the keyword insurance to get help immediately. We are here continuing our conversation with our special guest, Assembly Member Blanca Pacheco. Thank you so much for being here again. Thank you. Before the break, and again, before I even continue, if you've missed any part of our conversation, you want to definitely go back and find it because there's a lot of really interesting stuff in here. You can just search for Insurance Hour online, go to insurancehour.com, go to whatever podcast app you use, go to YouTube, just search Insurance Hour, uh, and you'll find it there. And listen to the whole thing because there's a lot of stuff in here. We don't just talk about this bill. We don't just talk about the assemblywoman. We talk about how to legislate in general. So there's a lot of really good info here. So before the break, we were talking in general about what type of obstacles there might have been to get the bill to this place, because it's just just close to the finish line. So would you say that there's been a lot of opposition to it, or for the most part, have... Every, has everyone really been on board with it? For the most part, everyone's uh, been on board. It's received bipartisan support, so we've been fortunate, but doesn't mean we haven't worked hard. We've worked hard from the very beginning. Oh, there's no question. All of this had to be a, had to be a lot of work. Oh, yes. For a bill like this, and I know I'm getting into the weeds a little bit, so forgive the silly question. How long is it? Is this 10 pages? Is it 30 pages? How long would it take the average assembly person or then senator to actually go through and read it? And I guess I'm poking them all, wondering, <laughs> do they actually all go through and read it all? Well, I hopefully they, they read it. Uh, but we all receive the bill language, and then we also receive an analysis of the bill. Uh, so in each committee, we see an analysis of what the bill does, and so that way we can get a better understanding, because not everybody is an attorney as well. There's so much I could say to that. I'll just say, <laughs> you're right, right? They're, we, they're not everybody is an attorney. We can both, we can both laugh and, and, and leave it at that. And not everybody so, is an insurance expert like yourself. Oh, you're too kind. Yeah, well, that, well you know, like, like we joked about, it's car salesmen, politicians, attorneys, insurance people. How many other of the most loved professions are there? <laughs> there's, there's a handful of them, That's right? That's true. Well, what happens... Once the bill passes the Senate floor, which we're going to uh, going to hope that it and assume that it does, and it goes to the governor's desk. You hear that on the news all the time. It's sitting on the governor's desk, waiting for his signature, you know, as if he's pacing the room doing nothing else but looking at a stack of things to either sign or not sign. Uh-huh. How long does it can it actually sit in that position and just be there? So I would have to look at the calendar, but I believe it's September. <laughs> Yes, 30 days. He has 30 days to sign it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So uh, there's not any calendar date. It's basically once it gets dropped on his desk and both houses have said, we like this. I think it's actually a date. There is a date. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. And I don't remember what it is this That's year off the top of my head. I didn't mean to put you on the spot with yeah. it. I was just trying to get a general idea. Does he have a day? Does he have six months? How long do we have to wait <laughs> with bated breath to see if he signs it or not? I may have it on my calendar. Anyone that wants to get their opinion in should certainly reach out to you. Do you want to to provide some contact information for people if they want to reach out to you? And you can certainly help give them the right path to get to the governor's office with their opinion if they want to go that route? September 14th. September 14th. September 14th. September, September, sorry, I was getting the date for you. September 30th is the last date for the governor to sign all bills or veto all bills. Oh, wow. Okay. So is, and by hearing that there's a drop dead date, I'm going to just go on the record and assume that that means he does nothing until September 30th. I'm going to guess that Uh most things just sit there. Some bills actually get signed beforehand. So it's a very complicating process. Some some bills get signed beforehand, but he has up till September 30th. I'm being a little cynical, I guess, right? (laughs) I just assume that he just sits there and waits on all of them. What is the best way for people to get uh, get through to you? If they want to talk about this bill, if they want to make sure that their voice is heard, maybe they want to put a call in or shoot an email over to the governor's office to tell them what they think. What's the best way? You're the the expert on this, obviously. You penned it. Uh How should they reach out to get you? 
So if they want to reach out to me, my phone number is 916-319-2064. That is my phone number here at the Capitol. And if they want to send you an email, what's the best way to get a hold of you there? Sure. It's assemblymember.pacheco at assembly.ca.gov. Got it. I think that it's important that everyone knows that they have a voice. Yes. And what's what's interesting about the way legislation works is although you represent a particular area, the legislation that you write or that you support or don't support in general affects the entire state. So anybody that's that's paying attention that wants to, like I said, have a voice or be involved or has a question, then they they should feel comfortable to reach out to you. And again, you have that open door policy. Not literally, I can tell you. I had to. I had to actually open the door, but I. But I get it. Okay. So what I'd like to do is we've just got a, a minute or two left. Okay. Is there anything? What's what is your? If you can give us your your elevator pitch for this bill, you for the first time we're hearing about it. For people that are just joining us now, tell us the bill number. Tell us what it is. Tell us why it's important to California's economy that this bill goes through. This bill is important. It's an important bill. It's Assembly Bill 2743. It would ensure uh, car sharing um, businesses stay viable here in the state of California. Uh, The consumer should be allowed to rent out their vehicle. It's a good source of income. And it will help many family and many constituents here in the state of California. But most importantly, it will keep businesses like Turo here in California. And that's what's important. Terrific. Well, there's nothing there, there's nothing more important than trying to make California more attractive to business. I know that we we don't exactly have the reputation for being super business friendly, right? Uh, and I can say that I'm born and raised in California. I think it's the best state ever, and we have our challenges. We 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 get that as well. Yes. So. I will invite everyone to please reach out to the Assemblywoman if they have any questions or they want to make their opinion known or or anything having to do with this bill. You have her contact information now as well. We'll also put links to that for you to be able to see in the show notes for today. And I thank you so much for spending time with us here today, Assemblywoman. Oh, thank you. It's been such a pleasure. I would love to plan to have you back too so we can hear when this is done. And, and how it works from there going forward. Sounds great. Terrific. Well, I will look forward to seeing you again. And for now, we will take another quick break. I am Carl Sussman, and you are learning from Insurance Hour. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, click here to watch the next video. This show is dedicated to Shamrock Papa.